Today's Motivation Monday topic is along the lines of confidence and having confidence. I recently went on a tweet rant, I do that every so often, about confidence and what it is to have confidence, what it means, why we should have it. Of course you know I'm still doing my daily affirmations my, during the self love project and one of my affirmations happened to be my confidence surfaces in all aspects of my life and then I went in a little bit more detail talking about some of the different avenues in which I display my confidence you know my hair shows my confidence the way that I dress exudes some type of confidence but also you know experimentation with lip colors um, my makeup all of these physical attributes display my confidence but there are also other things that display my confidence like my relationships with people. Being a confident person in a relationship helps you to understand your role in that relationship. I am very confident and secure in my marriage because I know my role in my marriage and I understand what is expected of me and I fulfill that role. I am important in my marriage. Likewise, I'm confident because I'm also surrounded by a great man. I'm, I surround myself with good people. I'm very confident in my friendships because I know what type of friend I am. That comes along with knowing who I am. And I, I made a statement that if you don't love who you are, if you don't love yourself, then it's going to be damn hard for you to love anybody else. You have to love who you are first in order for the love that you have to exude the other people. You have to have it first in order to give it. I also may mention that the face of confidence shows joy in others' accomplishments. I was on Facebook the other day and Tyrese released a video pretty much summing up what God has for you is for you. And that made me think about, you know, today's topic because if you are confident that God has your back and provides everything for you that is intended for you, then you do, you shouldn't feel salty when somebody else wins a million dollars in the lottery. Or you shouldn't feel salty when your friend gets a promotion. You shouldn't feel salty if your friend gets engaged. Or you shouldn't be salty if, you know, your friend gets a new job somewhere else. All of those accomplishments that others have made should make you happy because you can see that God is moving in their lives and if you are a part of their lives, that means that God is moving in that vicinity. Shouldn't we be happy about that? Another thing about confidence is owning your life. You own your life. You are in control of your own life. You are in control of your actions. He gives us free will for a reason. For you to make a choice and for you to make choices that will better help you along the way. He has a plan map that, yes, but it's by your choices and the experiences that you go through and the decisions that you make that you get to experience that plan. And whether we deviate from it or not, that plan is still there. So you need to have the confidence enough to say, listen, God, I know you got this plan for my life and I'm trying to be down. What can I do to make sure that this plan goes? And it comes with having faith and knowing that he will provide. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. If you know that you can do all things, then why not walk this earth confidently? Why not ex exude your confidence? Why not show somebody, listen, I'm confident enough to not let you walk all over me. You can have a humble confidence. It's okay to be humble and confident at the same time, but do not discredit your accomplishments. Do not discredit who you are. Being humble does not mean that you are not confident. If you are not confident in yourself, then the humility that you're showing is not really humility at all. It's a lower self-esteem because you're not really being humble because when you're confident, you can be humble. But when you're not confident, you're not acknowledging who you are. It's okay to be modest. It's okay to say, oh, thank you. It's okay to say, listen, I got this. Confidence is going forward. Even though you don't know how everything is gonna pan out, you know that everything is already worked out. Confidence is the ability to mind your own business and be secure in your own affairs. That is showing the utmost confidence. When you don't have to worry about somebody else and worry about what other people are doing, you're showing confidence that you are confident enough in yourself to propel forward. You ain't gotta worry about what X, Y, and Z is doing over there. That's not your that's not your issue. Your issue is you. That's the confidence that you need to know that I'm secure in my own matters. 
I might not have everything together and that is okay, but I'm gonna mind my business. Confidence is the ability to matriculate through this world without even having to say one word. Being confident in your silence enough to know that people will see who you are before you even open your mouth. That's confidence. They will know that you are a confident person. When you walk with your head up high, when you have your shoulders up and you're not slumping, you're not moping around, we're gonna equate confidence with faith here. Because when you're confident in yourself and you're confident in your capabilities and you know what you can do, even if you can't, even if you have never tried it, you know that things will work out. Your confidence and your faith go hand in hand. All you need is the faith a size of a mustard seed in order to make mountains move. God has given you that confidence, so use it. Go out there and exude that confidence that you know you have because you have it. It's, it's there. You just gotta tap into it. Confidence is the ability to be alone and still know that someone is with you. You always have God on your side and you're, you're walking just like you got somebody right there beside you that's taking care of all of your needs, that's taking care of everything that you need. I wish you all much success this week. I pray that you all have an awesome, awesome week. And I want you all to go confidently in this world and show, show that confidence that God has given you. Don't forget to follow me on my social media networks. You would have caught that Twitter rant had you been there um, but definitely you can read up on it it's, it's some more stuff that I that I wrote I, I can't remember every single thing but um, definitely go read that and um, of course follow me on Instagram Facebook Tumblr and of course my blog stillfeatherlaceelephant.com and until next week fam love you guys tremendously thank you for all of your continued support and I'll see you next video peace